Hey guys, what's going on? It's Craig Jack here coming at you with the iMovie app tutorial. Uh, first look, first review, I guess, for me. And maybe you guys too. I don't know if you guys have seen it. This app does require the iPhone 4 or the iPod Touch 4G, fourth generation, in order to run. Um, I'm not sure if it's specific to 4.1 or 4.0. I think it's just 4. Point whatever um, the OS. But let's get right into this. Here is the app right here, the little movie star right here. Let's launch it. Getting right into it, you do see your project windows. Up top is going to be a question mark, and that is going to be your help button. Uh, up at the right-hand corner, uh, top right-hand corner, it's going to be the plus button, and I'll get into that in just a second. Uh, bottom left is going to be the export. You can export it into medium 360p, large 540p, or HD 720p uh, video format. And when you do save this, it will save it into to your pictures folder, not your videos folder. So I don't know if it creates a slideshow out of it or whatnot, but it does work just fine. Uh, bottom middle is going to be your play button, and you can see this playing right here. All right, guys, this is just a little test of the 720p video capture of the uh, iPod Touch fourth generation. So you can see this is just running an HD video because I did export that in HD video. You can stop that. And this is, does do uh, landscape as well, just to let you guys know. And then on the bottom right hand corner is going to be your trash button. So you can delete your uh, your project after you've you know finished it or if you're done with it or if you don't like it. So let's get right up here into the top right corner. It's going to be your plus button. And what that's going to do is bring you into the new project window. And here you can select your themes. You can turn music, theme music on, theme music off. Uh, here they give you modern, bright, travel, playful, and news to start off with. I usually just go with... I, it doesn't really matter. I go with bright. Who cares? Whatever. Uh, when you get into that, you do see tap to insert media. Tap the camera button to record from camera. You can go here and go back to what you were just doing but let's go ahead and go back into that uh, so let's go ahead and tap this little button right here and that's actually going to let you either insert a uh, video and I'm just going to insert the video that I already ran for my other video so tap it and it inserts it right into the timeline and you can scrub actually through the timeline it does play on screen while you scrub through it So there's that. Actually, that's the whole entire video. Let's uh Let's delete that real quick. I will actually insert a different video. Let's just do the plain video here. And then you can tap insert that, tap to insert another video. And in between these two videos is going to be a transition. And the transitions right there you can actually tap that and see what it is. Double tap it and you do get all the options. None. So that will just do a straight cut to your next scene. Cross dissolve. You can choose how many seconds you want it. All the way from 0.5 to 2 seconds. And then you can choose your theme uh, that you picked. So let's just go ahead and do cross dissolve. Done. So that's going to cross dissolve that and you can play it. So there you go, you saw the cross dissolve. You can go ahead and enter in photos from your camera roll. Let's go ahead and enter that in there. It's gonna that's gonna throw that into wherever your thing's actually set. And there is that cross dissolve into that picture and then back into video. And then you can also go ahead and enter in audio as well if you would like. Let's get out of that and the nice feature about this is you can actually record video so let's go ahead and switch to the front facing camera and we can actually record some video or take a picture after you're done with that hit the stop button and you can say use and that's actually going to throw that right into there so after this cross dissolve of this image video or take a picture and there you go, you just saw what I entered in there. After you're done with that, you can hit this button right up here. Actually, let's, sorry about that. Oh, 
Alrighty. Oh, here we go. After you're done with that, you do go into your timeline. So here's the video I just created. Go ahead and do this and you can click, it's just for video purposes, you go medium quality. So now you're exporting the movie. Um, I'm not going to waste your time on this. After it's exported, it will show up into your video or into your picture folder and I'll go ahead and just jump right out and show you what that looks like. So here we go. I have this video right here from before. And you can start playing it. Right, you can pause it just like normal and you do have your video control so if you want to cut something out you definitely can do that. And then go ahead and say send to YouTube or email the video. So guys it's just been a real quick uh, tutorial on iMovie for the iPhone 4 and iPod Touch 4th generation. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys check out iMovie. It's quick, it's easy, it's simple for on the go videos. Uh, if you don't want to log on to your computer or anything, I definitely recommend this. I would definitely give it at least a four and a half out of five stars. Some things could be better with it, but for the most part, it is definitely an ideal situation for editing some movies on your uh, on the go, on a trip, or if you just don't have time to get to a computer. All right, guys, till later. It's Cracker Jack. Later.